All right, fellas, we're right back in part two for the June sync pairs. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, so this video is going to be coming, uh, coming, covering, what the, Kabu and, <laughs> I'm losing it, Kabu and Larry. So just two sync pairs, of course. Uh, we got our fire, fire type Kabu and Sun Scorch, and then Sprint, uh, Larry and Dunsparce, the Dunsparce. Uh, Kabu should have just been a fucking poker, no, he is a poker fair. He should have been a spotlight but this is modern modern Pokemon Master, so I don't know why I would uh, even make that comment because it was never gonna happen, right? Uh, but whatever, uh, I'm probably gonna be going for Larry. It really, it might depend on what this kit looks like, but I do I like Larry as a character, one of my favorite Scarlet and Violet characters for sure. Uh, maybe th number four, number three. Uh, I think we're going gonna go towards four. I think I put Taro, Perrin, and Rika above him, but just those three. Anyway, whatever. So, uh, let's go ahead and look at his kit here, I guess. He is a Sprint Sync Pair with the Tech EX roll. Normal type, weak to fighting, of course. Two segment dead on sparse. Uh, it drops June 14th, leaves July 11th, giving you three and a half weeks to pull for him. Pretty good amount of time, that's for sure. Uh, nearly a month. <laughs> uh, he's normal type, Paldea, Gym Leader Elite for three free spirit. Free spirit. <laughs> Free my boy's spirit. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, 748 health, uh, 336 attack, 166 in both defensive stats, 336 speed. Uh, he does have the tech X roll again as stated. Um, 376 attack, over 200 defenses, 848 health. Uh, tech X roll, a few extra stats. Okay, so far, I mean, it's, it's looking fine. Nothing crazy, but looking fine. Uh, good health, definitely. <laughs> solid, very solid attack. Defenses are fine. Speed's pretty uh, good as well. So overall, I mean, with full investment, Larry does have some very nice stats, for sure. Could be better on the offenses, but that's fine. Uh, okay, moving on to the moves. He's got Hyper Drill, a 4-gauge move, 200 power, no additional effects. So we got ourselves a, you know, Hyper Beam type of move, but, you know, normal type, Hyper Drill. Uh, Dakota Plus Buffing Ally Crit, not too shabby. Um, trying to move to uses, doesn't say anything, I guess target self, I'm gonna guess, <laughs> makes sense, uh, and then it applies the gauge acceleration, reduces sync countdown by one, raises speed of all allies by two, I love that he's a sprint, by the way, yeah, because this guy, he's really itching to go, Is <laughs> he looks like he's itching to go, <laughs> oh, I love Larry so much, um, yeah, very sprint oriented so far, you got a little bit of support, you got some gauge, er, gauge and sync countdown stuff, so far, about right. Uh, and then bullet speed hyper drill. Two uses, 250 minimum base power, targets a single opponent, it's a quick move. Activates whenever the user uses a move one time. The activation is when the user when the move is used. The move never misses. Lower target defense by two. Lower target type rebuff, uh, normal type rebuff by one stat rank or one rank. Applies free moves next to the user. Okay, so you got yourself good power, you lowered enemy rebuff, you lower enemy defenses, and you also get free moves next. Uh, so far, not too shabby. Don't like that he's a four gauge move user for the gauntlet, but outside of that, I mean, obviously, he, I think he's gonna be fine. He's got pretty good offensive stats. He's gonna be good under Palmer's normal zone. Uh, he'll be f probably be good for those areas. Uh, working man's methods uh, raises attack by four when it enters a battle. Grants all the following effects when the user is attacking. Ignores target passive skills that would reduce damage. Ignores passives that are protecting the crit. Ignores endurance. So you got piercing blows plus. And plus four crit on or, sorry, plus four attack on entry. Plus four crit. <laughs> Finally, guarantee crits on sync moves out, soften up one. Uh, opponent rebuff team <coughs> team moves up two. Powers up moves of all allied sync pairs uh, when attacking opponent with a lower type rebuff. Not too bad, definitely not too bad. Uh, extra power for him, and of course allies two. Probably gonna be good for Palmer, you know, because I, I you're probably gonna be running him with Palmer. I would say just to try and enhance his damage as much as possible. So having you know ha having that extra power buff to palmer as well is, is good and then rebuff reducing hit weakness lowers target type rebuff of its weakness tied by one stat rank the, uh, the first time the user's tag was successful each battle okay could be good as well for uh, mixed team compositions as well so you are, you're not really locking larry to normal type teams you are also giving him some decent usage uh, outside of that because you are all, you do have a little bit of utility as well again you got this rebuff here which is relatively helpful you got yourself the crit uh support the gauge acceleration and sync countdown uh the defense debuffs too so, he and the support from this passive. So, he does have a little bit of support of the ability, too, and a little bit of a reason to run him on other teams, other than just, you know, normal type enhancement. 
Uh, looking in the grid, nothing at, <laughs> literally nothing at 1 out of 5. 2 out of 5, he gets Mad Strength 9, Ghost Guard, Numbing Blow 4, Attack Trap 4, yada yada. Uh, Numbing Blow Paralysis is not too shabby, Attack Trap for Trap. Uh, both good for Yuxi and, you know, some other gauntlets that may need uh, those gimmicks, but also he's got Piercing Blow, so he doesn't necessarily care. But the Paralysis could be good for uh, preventing enemy actions and, you know, cheese and whatnot, and Trap could be good for, you know, extra damage, but really, uh, I wouldn't say this is a fantastic 2 out of 5. Match Strength 9, just a little bit more self-sufficiency for attack buffing, Ghost Guard for Ghost Damage Reduction. I, I can't think off the top of my head any... I don't think there's any Legendary... I, I, I might be misremembering. I know there's some that use, like, Shadow Ball or whatever, but, like, I don't think there's any Ghost-type Legendary Arena. Like, Ghost Weakness, we have Yuxi, right? But actual Ghost-type Pokemon, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head, so... Don't think this is gonna be the most helpful thing ever. Turn of is good for the sync countdown, gauge acceleration speed buffs as well, good gauge management, uh, maintaining good gauge management, very nice, and uh, the sync ramping too. Three out of five, he gets hit, uh, and also I just would not recommend the two out of five in general, still, even with all that. Uh, three out of five, he gets hit, uh, rebuff free, uh, upon opponent, free moves next four. So you can move on, uh, on opponent, <sighs> whatever. Attack down and special attack down two, ramming speed. Uh, Hyper Drill, Gauge Refresh 9, <laughs> Mighty Command 9, uh, Inertia, Hestar 1, and Endurance. So, Free Moves next, good for the Gauntlet. Attack and Special Attack down, also good for the Gauntlet. I guess good for activating Multipliers as well, but I don't think he has anything for that. Inertia and Ramming Speed, good DPS and nuking Multipliers too. Uh, and he does have an 8 Multiplier when enemy type rebuff is lower. Very easy to activate, of course. On um, the Mighty Command 9, increasing physical moves next. When Trina uses a move, so we will potentially be able to, uh, be able to do a, uh, some pro probably pretty good burst damage uh, on bullet speed hyper drill here. If you play it right, that's definitely not too shabby. Uh, and of course, even just hyper drill is going to be doing some pretty good damage. So, uh, I mean, he's, it looks like he's kind of trying. Uh, the only thing that this guy's really missing from the gauntlet now is healing and just overall general defensive ability. He's got special attack and attack debuffs, but he does not have defensive buffs, I think. Doesn't have healing. Those are his main problems so far. Otherwise, I mean, just for actual other stages, you know, speed buffs are, you know, for the ramming speed's good, inertia's good, got some pretty good damaging stuff. Overall, not too shabby. Uh, head start one for some sync ramping, mighty command for physical moves next, burst damage, not too shabby either. Cool. Uh, Fortified, he gets Enfeeble 2, Team Speedy Entry 2. Just, just don't pick this up, pick up Training with NPR, if that's all you need. Uh, and then Enfeeble 2, lower defensive en enemies on entry by 2. Eh, I generally don't think that's going to be helpful. Not really, I don't find too much use in that. 5 out of 5, that does give him his gear. There you go, Gauntlet ability. 40% <laughs> healing after using the sync move. Okay, there you go. I think I think we found some pretty good stuff for Larry and the Gauntlet. There, there you go, there's your healing. Uh, and then. Brand, brawn gain on Dire Hit All Plus, increasing physical moves next of all allies when using the move. I mean, that's that's generally a decent ability, but uh, eh. Eh. You probably, if you're going to go for 5 out of 5 for recuperation, this is not too bad to pick up, but just in general, if you're not going to plan to pick up recuperation, I wouldn't pick this up either. Uh, Larry's best move level is probably 3 out of 5 for general use, 5 out of 5 for the gauntlet, just for recuperation too. Not much else to say. Overall, not a bad kid. I do like him. He's like, he's going to be directly enhanced under Palmer. I like using Palmer. I'm okay with this. This is a fair trade. Moving on to Kabu and Senescorch. Uh, again, should have been a spotlight, but he's a poker fair, because of course he is. Uh, he drops June 16th, I believe July tw uh, 11th, 12th, maybe in some part of the world, I don't know. Probably not, actually. No. Yeah, no. He's a support sync pair with the physical striker EX role, because fuck him. This is <laughs> he, got this, he, he got the general pool treatment, spotlight treatment, despite not being a spotlight. That's... Whatever. Uh, and then he's got fire typing. He's weak to rock, of course. Uh, stats are very... Why are these stats so visually appealing? 655 health, 336 attack, 300 uh, defense, 336 special attack, 300 special defense, 283 speed. Sure. He's a support. Uh, those, good, those are good defensive stats for a support. Uh, the physical strike EX roll. I mean, unless he's got, like, rebuff or something, I don't see the physical strike EX roll being too helpful, but, I mean, he probably will. To be honest, six star AX, 340 in the defenses, 755 health, nice. Level 150, even more health and better defenses. Okay, so far they're pretty fine. Those are fine stats for defensive abilities, but nothing too impressive. Uh, Fire Gallery, Gym Leader, Passion Spirit, Veteran Trainer. Uh, the moves he's got Ember, 
one gauge move, 10% chance to burn, whatever. Protect uh, for damage guard next to himself. Okay, so, so far, nothing crazy. Trainer move, raise defense, special defense of all allies by one, by two stat ranks. Raises uh, the user's fire rebuff by one rank. Okay, so we're getting the, okay. No? Okay, well, we're probably going to be getting a fire high score event rerun relatively soon. We're going to get Ghost and Dark next month, right? Well, July, uh, but then maybe in July, like it's, maybe in September, uh, we'll get something related to the fire type again. Because they did this with Sycamore, but Sycamore was also announced during the release of the Grass High Score event. Or, the Grass High Score event was announced during the release of Sycamore. All right, Holiday Sycamore. Um, he's got Blazing Flame Wheel, 2 gauge move, 100 base power uh, effect. Okay, while well, Frozen heals, sure. Activation conditions when there's at least one trapped uh, Pokemon on the opponent's field of play. Deactivation conditions when there's no trapped opponent. Removes the frozen condition from the user. Has a 10% chance of leaving all enemies burned. Leaving, or leaving the target burned, sorry. Restores the HP of all allied sync pairs uh, when the target is burned. Restores the HP of all allied sync pairs when the target is trapped. Okay, so that's actually not too shabby. That's a lot of healing. Or that could be a lot of healing, actually. Two chances of proccing healing or two ways to proc healing. Not too shabby, actually. Uh, G-Max Centiferno leaves all opponents trapped. So that's how he gets his trap, right? Uh, and that's also how the move activates. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Uh, max move team attack and spe uh, team special attack up four. Raises both offenses by four after using the max move. First use status move, team crit rate up three. Raising crit of all allies by three. The first time user Pokemon uses a status move, this is where the protect comes in. And then hot to the touch nine leaves the opponent that attacked the user burned when it's attacked by attacking move. Um, I, I can't really say I'm all that impressed with this kit. I mean, the, the buffs are nice, but he doesn't really have much outside of that. He's got the team rebuff, or sorry, hit, rebuff raising for himself, actually. Uh, he, I, I don't know, the healing's nice. I mean, it's all, these are all nice abilities, but they just don't really stand out for, like, a spectacular support, especially for someone who's a like, limited unit. Like, legitimately, I do think that this would, okay, you know, take away a few of these abilities, you know, lower them down a little bit, and I do think this would legitimately be a kit for a spotlight character. <laughs> like, if you just lowered the offense raise to, like, maybe plus two, and the crit rate to, like, plus two as well, I legitimately could see this just being a spotlight kit. Like, it, it's that close. I could definitely see this being a variety kit. <laughs> Straight up. N no offense to Kabu or anything, right? I don't know, I'm just not really blown away by the kit. Could be could be good, uh, good could be solid, right? He's got the burn for Uxie, trap for Uxie, but it's only one one instance of trap, so you're also, you know, kind of dealing with that. He's able to buff crit and attack extremely effectively, defenses as well, uh, raises his own fire rebuff, he's got pretty good healing. I mean, not too shabby, but really just has nothing that stands out as super impactful to me. 1 out of 5, we got Flame Proof uh, and Escape Artist, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, 2 to 5, Healing Sun 1, Scorcher 2, Pokey Trap 2, Sunscreen 2, Trip of PR, Max Double Down. <laughs> yeah, with, yeah, with, uh, well, I guess his offensive stats are good. Yeah, he actually does have offensive stats. I just, I kind of didn't really register that. My head, <laughs> he boys. Uh, yeah, uh, I kind of didn't register that he actually does have good offensive stats. I don't know why I didn't do that. This is going to do some actual good damage, too. He's a support character. Okay. <laughs> it kind of does change it a little bit, actually. That does actually kind of change it a little bit, because he does have higher off... Hmm. As a support, he can actually do damage and take attacks. That's... Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Um, max double down is not too shabby, then. For fire weak stages, though, really. I mean, I don't see... It could be good for, like, a final nuke finish against, like, Cobalion or something, but really, other than that, eh, I don't see much usage. Uh, Scorcher 2 for increasing damage against, uh, or increasing damage taken from burn, and Poke Trap for taking increased damage in trap. Pretty good for some passive chip. Sunscreen 2 for reducing damage when in sun. You, you'd have to actually, you know, run him in sun. I don't think you're going to be using him too much as an actual fire support. I think you're just going to leave that role to, like, Sigmus and Morty, Sigmus and Sorola, or just a general support like Neo Champion Blue, Rosa, whoever. I don't think you're going to be running this guy specifically under Sun, unless you are trying to actually, like, maximize his damage, in which case you're mostly just doing that because you're a Kabu fan, which is fair, fine, fine, sure, but just in terms of efficiency, I don't see much usage in the Sunscreen 2. Uh, and Healing Sun 1 for some healing, combine that with Blazing Flame Wheel, and this guy's got a lot of healing for himself and allies. Could be good in the Gauntlet with that, but you also, again, do have to have Sun up, so that is a caveat. 
3 out of 5 against Vigilance, Sync Damage Guard, Impervious, Flag Baron 9, Haymaker, Team First, Super Sync, Debut Team, Physical Moves Next Up, whatever, 1, and then Trade with Hit and Deal. Black Super Effect next to all users after using the Sync Move. Mm, sure. Any, like, relatively tough stage you're using Kaboon as a support. I mean, having that Super Effect next is going to help for any damage. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's not that crazy. Debut team, physical moves up next. One, increasing physical moves next of all allies on entry. I, it's fine. It's not, I don't think that's actually a crazy ability. I think physical moves next is better used when, like... I think it's better used when you have, like, you know, some sync buffs and whatnot. Not, like, this early on in the battle. So, I don't see too much massive use in this. Uh, Haymaker for an actual sync nuke. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, you could actually legitimately nuke with Kabu if you wanted to. It would be better if you had, like, rebuff or something, but, I mean, he does have the offensive stats to actually have an okay nuke. We got New Year's Wallace. <laughs> we have something comparable to New Year's Wallace, and he's a support for in terms of nuke. Uh, impervious, preventing stat debuffs. That's nice for the gauntlet and just any, sta you know, any standard stage, right, that they try to debuff you. That's actually quite good, just pretty much anywhere. But you just kind of find the stage that you really think it would be useful in. Flag Baron 9, raising attack of all eyes when he uses Pokemon, uses a move. If the plus 4 is not uh, good enough for you, or you want the attack buffs uh, without having to use the max move, then Flag Baron is good for that front. Sync Damage Guard applying da He's got a lot of Damage Guard, by the way. Protect, Sync Damage Guard, and also if you go for Max Guard, he does get that there too. Uh, my only thing that with this guy that I'm already not really liking is that he only sets trap via the max move. I think he should have another way to set trap if he wants to be a little bit more consistent because he does need that for the buddy move to be activated. Uh, and that's not good. So find a way to get this man trap. Trap this man. Uh, and then vigilance. Yeah, protecting from crits. That means the skills, the lucky skill slots opened up a lot more. You can run, you know, a lot of different abilities. You know, you could also go for a if you don't want to pick up trying to move hit and heal, then you could pick up like healthy healing here or something. Could give you some, e like, you know, even more healing on top of healing sun and the two heals potentially from blazing flame wheel, right? Again, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't see this guy's kit standing out too much. I do like the uniqueness of having legitimately good offensive stats and actually a pretty consistent damaging option. You know, Iono is good for damage too, but like it's mostly in bursts, right? Whereas Kabu here actually has consistent DPS as long as you leave the enemy trapped and he's got a nuke too. Like, he's pretty much equivalent of, like, a lower-tiered striker, I would say, but also actually has, you know, supportive ability because he is a support, not a striker, which is definitely interesting at the very least. <laughs> I do like that, though. 4 to 5 gets Overwhelm 9, uh, Team Max Sync Boost Physical 9, increases Physical Moves next, of all eyes by 1 when using the Sync or Max move. Uh, that is good. This is this is pretty much kind of fixes the problem that I had with de uh, debut team physical boost. You know, you can use this whenever you want, or you know, after support X or you know during support X, right? Get yourself the physical moves next for your allies and whatnot. This could be good in that front. It could legitimately be good for that. It could be quite helpful, especially because it doesn't have like you know the first time uh, a sync move or max move is used. It is any time the sync move or max move is used, and especially because he does have a decent sync nuke, you may want to sync with him multiple times just for whatever reason that may be. And then overall 9, also a debuffing attack, good for the gauntlet, good for taking less damage in general, going to help his overall bulk and overall team bulk. 5 out of 5 for first aid 4, a max countdown, just more general use uh, abilities, I would say. Good healing for first aid 4, a uh, good sync countdown for max countdown 2. Don't have too much else to say, these are good abilities, very, very nice. Um... I don't know, it's just, so far, I don't think Kabu really stands out too much to me, but I do see the legitimate, like, niche and usage in him. He is definitely very unique with his actual damaging properties. Uh, Redman isn't kind of a vet of, like, Neo Champion Blue, for sure. Uh, it's just, I don't know, he just, it feels like he doesn't really have something that does actually set him apart. Like, his healing is pretty unique here with the burn and trap and whatnot, but you also need to actually have the enemy be burned and trapped. Burn's not bad, but trap is a little bit iffy, right? New Wish's enhancements were a little bit more easy to activate, or at least uh, he just had something else. Like, maybe he'd set Sun or something. But either way, that's not too shabby. I do like both of these kits. Quite a, a decent, bit, decent bit enough. I, I like Larry's. It's fine. Uh, I do like his uh, enhancement under Palmer, and Kabu looks like he's going to be very interesting, depending on how you want to run him. I'm very interested to see how people are going to make him work under, uh, like, Ultimate Battles and whatnot, because I know someone's going to try it, for sure. And I could definitely see him working relatively well under those, and I, I want to see it, so... 
I guess show me those clears whenever uh, he releases. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts about Larry and Kabu. Let me know think about them down in the comments below. Next, we'll be looking at the great expansions and uh, EX rolls and whatnot for characters. Uh, but that'll probably be a little bit of a shorter video, maybe 10 minutes or so. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all later. Have fun with the data mine day. Peace out.